Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Mitch Tabian, and this is going to be my 8th Java tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use inheritance in your classes. So the first thing we're going to do is create a new package, and let's call it inheritance. So I might do more tutorials on it in the future. Then create a class, and we're going to call it tree. And then create another two classes. One of them will be called Apple Tree. I oh, don't need that. And one more will be called Pear Tree. Alright. So the Apple Tree class is going to have three parameters. It's going to have its number of branches, number apples. And it'll have a string that tells you the tree type. So this is apple, so it's an apple tree. And then I'm going to skip ahead here because I'm just going to put in all the getter and setter methods. So there we go, we have our getter and setter methods. We have a method to return the number of apples. We have a method to return the number of branches, uh, return the tree type, set the number of apples, and set the number of branches. And then additionally, we're going to make one more method, and it's just going to be to return something called the yield, which is just something I made up, and it's just going to return the ratio of apples, or, or fruit basically, divided by the number of branches. Just kind of another feature to add. Divide that by. So I, I typecast these to double because if we're using a percentage, uh, we can't just divide integers because you're not going to get anything. Okay, so then we'll go over to the pear tree class. And I'm going to skip ahead here because it's going to be identical to the apple tree class except everything's going to be pears instead of apples. Okay, so there we have our pear tree class. It's exactly the same as the apple tree class except pairs. So the first thing we need to do is extend, oops, not extend the tree class, we actually need to extend the um, apple tree class to tree because apple tree is going to be a type of tree and then, oh I've already extended that one so I just forgot to extend that one. So now we have our apple tree class and our pear tree class all extending tree and so we can use those properties inside of our tree class. So we're going to make another parameter called tree, called age, which is going to hold the tree's age. And then we're going to create two objects. One's going to be an apple tree, and one's going to be a pear tree. Then we're going to have tree. We're going to set the parameters for tree one. Say it's got 50 apples, set, and then set its branches. Say it's got, I don't know, 76 branches. And then we're going to set, uh, oh, I need to make this set age. And it's going to be, oh, it's going to be kind of a young tree. It's going to be 46. So I actually forgot to make that, so I'll make that right now. Okay. All right, then we're going to go on to tree two. Set, uh, set pairs. And let's go with it's got a lot of pairs. It's got like 79 pairs on there. And then tree two, set branches. This thing isn't even going to have that many branches, so let's go with like 85 branches. And then tree two, set age. It's going to be a super old tree. Uh, it's 120 years old. To just print out our results. Tree one is a get use get type. So it'll be a blank tree, a certain type of tree. It has get let's go get branches. It has a certain amount of branches.
blank number of fruit. Okay, so I'm just gonna check that, print that out, make sure it looks good. So tree one is an apple tree, it has 76 branches and 50 fruit. Okay, that looks good. And we can also say tree one has a yield of tree one dot yield. many percent and is okay let's just see if that worked so tree one is an apple tree it has 76 branches and 50 fruit tree one has a yield of 66.0 percent and it's 46 years old all right, that looks pretty good. I'm just gonna copy this and modify it to do the same thing for the pear tree. Okay, there we have it. And we'll just put a extra line in here. I don't know why it automatically puts an X in there. Okay, and whoops. We'll run that and take a look. So we have tree one's apple tree has 76 branches, 50 fruit. Tree one's yield is 66.0%, 46 years old. And tree two is also good. So there's just a quick tutorial on how to use inheritance. Um, so you can see that our apple tree class extends the tree class, and the pear tree class extends the tree class. And we're able to call those methods inside of the tree class, like get apples and get pears, and then the get branches method. Then we're also able to use the set age method. Um, because apple tree and pear tree also extend tree. So all the methods available to the tree class are also available to the apple tree and the pear tree class because we have an apple tree and a pear tree object here. So if you liked the video, subscribe. Thanks for watching.